All right, this is Block 8, Pax Americana, Section 5, Eisenhower's Cold War, with the section beginning with Nikita Khrushchev. Stalin dies suddenly in 1953. Uh, fatal cerebral hemorrhage uh, kills Stalin uh, in his study in 1953. And the Soviet Union underwent about a three-year period of uh, transition where it was unclear who exactly was in charge uh, of the Soviet Union. There was quite a bit of jostling for power, there was a lot of ruthlessness, there was a lot of people uh, disappearing to Siberia, but in the end, in 1956, this man, uh, by the name of Nikita Khrushchev, came to power in the Soviet Union. He was from peasant stock. His father had been a, a regular, ordinary Russian peasant. Uh, and he shocked the world in 1956 when speaking to the Soviet Congress, uh, which had no power, but it was there anyway. When speaking to the Soviet Congress, Khrushchev denounced Stalin's crimes. And Khrushchev, the new leader of the Soviet Union, came out and said, Stalin did these awful things. Uh, he sent millions of people to, you know, labor camps. That he violated, you know, the true meaning of the Russian Revolution. He violated the true meaning of communism. And that if you were a good communist, you had to recognize Stalin and his awful, awful crimes. This split um, the, Ameri the, prog the worldwide left. This split American progressives and American communists into two camps. Those who still supported Stalin and those who believed, like Khrushchev, that Stalin had made serious, serious errors. <coughs> Just because Khrushchev denounces Stalin does not make him any less of a communist. He is a doctrinaire communist. He simply believes that Stalin has interpreted communism incorrectly. He believed that the Soviet Union was destined to win the Cold War. Gianella Linus, please come down to the main office. Please, Gianella Linus, please come down to the main office. He believed that the Soviet Union was destined to win the Cold War. He informed the West and the United Nations that they were going to that the Soviet Union would bury uh, the Western economies. Uh, and he he was a, a blunt and blustery man, Khrushchev was. In 1956 also, those satellite countries of Eastern Europe, Hungary in particular, kind of got the feeling in its mind that without Stalin in charge now, maybe Khrushchev would be less willing to crush opposition to Soviet rule in Eastern Europe. So freedom fighters in Hungary took to the streets. Democrats in Hungary rose up against their Soviet occupiers, their Soviet oppressors, hoping that Khrushchev would not be as brutal as Stalin was in crushing dissent. But Khrushchev was just as brutal as Stalin was in crushing dissent. And in 1956, Soviet uh, troops and tanks invaded Hungary and crushed uh, this opposition, ordered by Khrushchev. So anyone who thought that Khrushchev, uh, that Stalin being replaced by Khrushchev would somehow thaw the Cold War uh, were, were sadly mistaken, that Khrushchev proved in Hungary uh, that he was not going to let those Eastern European countries out of his grip, that the Soviet Union would not be that much more liberally minded uh, than Stalin's, and uh, Khrushchev was going to be a tough customer with which to deal.